Welcome everyone to another five minute workout. Today we are working on the reformer and I'm going to be doing a mobility workout and I hope that you'll join me. This is great to do before a workout, after a workout, in the middle of your day just to get some movement in. It's gonna feel great. So let's get started. I have one heavy and one light spring on, one red and one blue, and I'm putting my feet against the shoulder rest, hands on the platform, I have the foot bar down, and I'm gonna come into a flexed position. The first thing I'm gonna do is mobilize the, the spine against the spring resistance. So I start lengthening the spine to move the carriage out, and I'm gonna go right into my extension here, and then flex, that feels so good. Lengthen, I'm gonna inhale. Exhale as I flex, let's do that again. Lengthen the spine, inhale, go into your extension, and exhale one more time, just like that, and come back. Now, go into just a long spine so the carriage won't move as far out. You're gonna hold the carriage steady and let's just move the scapula by bringing them together and then spreading them apart. Inhale as they come together, exhale as you spread them apart. Try to keep the spine in that same long position. And two more, feels really good all around the shoulder blades. And then come back and go back into your flex position. Let's just take what the light spring off. So I'm working with just the red heavy spring. And I'm gonna move my knees a little further out so that I can lengthen my feet on the sides of the shoulder rest. This is a really fun variation that I found and I'm gonna put a little sticky mat here so I don't slide. Cause what I want is for my upper thighs to be right on the edge of that carriage. So position yourself for that. And then you're gonna lengthen the spine, press out and just find the edge of the carriage there. Oh, that's good. Now, from here, I'm gonna hold this extended position. I'm gonna push the carriage out and actually rock forward and come back up. So it's kind of like the swan on the box, right? And exhale up. Inhale to rock forward. Exhale up, my elbows will bend a little bit. I'm gonna rock and come back up two more times. Rock and come up and one more time, rock and come up and then I bend my knees and come all the way back in. I think that feels so good. I'm gonna bring my legs a little closer so my feet are gonna be on the inside of the shoulder rest now and I'm just gonna do a little side to side shell. So I hold on from one side and I send my hips off and put my head between my arms. And then I'm gonna do that on the other side. Hips off, head between your arms. And then come back to the center. Now, I'm gonna move the foot bar up and I'm gonna put a, the blue spring back on. So I have a red and a blue on now. And I'm coming up to a standing position and flex forward with my hands on the foot bar. You can do this with your heels down today because we're just gonna position ourselves until we can get our kind of back flat. And from there, holding the spine in that kind of lengthened position, push the carriage out with your legs and come back in. So feel the hamstrings work and come in. I'm hugging that bar with my hands to kind of disperse that energy, that weight throughout the whole hand, not just one pressure point on my hand. It kind of helps the wrist. Inhale out and exhale back. I'm looking down, not up. And I'm just feeling a little stretch in the calves as I push the carriage out and try to keep the heels connected to the carriage. And I feel a little stretch in my hamstring. If you're more flexible than me, you might not. You might have to shift your weight back here more toward your legs to feel that hamstring. Think about the sit bones being sent to the ceiling. One more. And come in, beautiful. All right, I'm gonna come back down and I'm gonna keep the springs there, one heavy and one light. I put one foot against the shoulder rest and the other foot right in the middle of the platform. So they're kind of lined up, my feet are lined up with my sit bones and I just press back and come forward. We're gonna lengthen away and come for just three little thigh stretches here. Oh, feels so good. 
and come in. Let's do that on the other side. So foot against the shoulder rest, front foot just off the edge of that platform so I can push with my heel and I start in this deep lunge. I exhale to press out, inhale to return. Keeping that back leg laid out so the glute on that back side stays engaged. Just three times and come all the way back in. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed this quick mobility workout. I, mean, I sure did. And I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye, everybody.